वेलकम ऑल इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व एग्जाम्पल नंबर वन स्केच द पोलर प्लॉट ऑफ ए फ्रिक्वेंसी रेस्पॉन्स ऑफ ए ट्रांसफर फंक्शन विच इज गिवन एस जी ऑफ एस इक्वल्स टू एस ओवर एस प्लस वन सो इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस द फाइव स्टेप्स टू प्लॉट ए पोलर प्लॉट सो फॉलोइंग दीज स्टेप्स मूविंग ऑन टू द स्टेप नंबर वन That is determination of transfer function. Since the open loop transfer function is given into the question, that is, g of s equals to s over s plus one. This is our open loop transfer function. Moving on to the next step, that is, step two, which is nothing but determination of sinusoidal form of transfer function so how can we determine it we have to replace we have to put s equals to j omega in this equation number 1 so on replacing s equals to j omega we get g of j omega equals to j omega over j omega plus 1 moving on to the step number 3 that is writing the equation for magnitude so the magnitude is represented by mod of g of j omega here the j omega is equals g of j omega is equals to j omega over j omega plus 1 so we need to find out its magnitude only thus mod of g of j omega will be equals to 1 over here under the root omega square plus no term is there that's why we will write zero here after this we will write under the root omega square plus 1 square so on simplifying we get mod of g of j omega will be equals to omega over under the root omega square plus 1 moving on to the step number 4 that is writing the equation for phase angle phase angle that is determined by g of j omega so we have to find out the phase angle of this term that is g of j omega so the phase angle g of j omega will be equals to firstly we will take tan inverse of the numerator term here the imaginary term is w and there is no real term that's why we will put zero in the denominator and we will take all the denominator terms with the negative sign then tan inverse this is in imaginary term that is omega and one is a real part that's why we will writing here so g of j omega will be equals to tan inverse infinite is nothing but 90 degree minus tan inverse of omega so 
so this is our g of j omega this is our magnitude and this is our phase angle later on moving on to the step number 5 in which we will calculate the value of magnitude that is mod of g of j omega and phase angle that is angle of g of j omega for the various values of omega so this is the value of mod of g of j omega and angle of g of j omega moving on to step number 5 in which we will calculate the value of m and angle phase angle for various values of omega for this we will have to perform prepare a table this is the table and we will divide it into three sections so here we will write the values of omega here we will write mod of g of j omega values and in the third section we will write angle that is angle of g of j omega so we have to test the value of mod of g of j omega and phase angle for the different values of omega so we will take a test values that is omega equals to 0 omega equals to 0 0.2 omega equals to 0 0.5 then we have to take 1 and then 5 then 10 and finally we have to take omega equals to infinite since in this table also the value of omega starts from 0 and then that's infinite so we have to calculate it so the calculation can be done by the help of a scientific calculator so for the faster calculation we have to find out all the values of magnitude at one raise and all the values of phase angle at the one attempt so we can write this term that is omega over under the root omega square plus one in the scientific calculator like bracket of omega divided by in bracket under the root again a bracket multiplied with omega multiplied with omega plus real value then again we have to put a bracket closing bracket and we have to put another closing bracket in this way we have to perform the simplification of this term in the scientific calculator so here is the scientific calculator and we have to find out the value at omega equals to 0, 0.0 so let's do it so we have to firstly perform uh, put a opening bracket after that we have to put a value of omega that is 0, 0.0 now so 0, 0.0 after this closing bracket is there then it is a dividation symbol after this we have to put opening bracket then after we have to put under root sign inside that under root sign we have to put another opening bracket and after that we have to write a value of omega that is 0, 0.0 now so 0, 0.0 multiplied with again omega since it is in omega square here so multiplied with 0, 0.0 plus 1 here so plus 1 again closing bracket is there so closing bracket and another closing bracket is there that's why another closing bracket now the answer is nothing but 0 only later on calculating the values for all the values of omega now 
let us perform and added these values so now we have to perform this thing for value of omega equals to 0 0.2 so let us edit it in place of 0 0.0 we have to write 0 0.2 0 0.0 we have to write 0 0.2 in place of 0 0.0 we have to write 0 0.2 here and that's all so the value is 0 0.196 again doing the same step in place of 0 0.2 we have to write 0 0.5 here so 0 0.5 0 0.5 0 0.5 and that's all so the value is 0 0.447 after this we have to write 1 so 1 can be written as 1.0 so here 1 and here 0 here 1 and here 0 here 1 0 and that's all so the value is 0 0.707 now later on we have to calculate it for omega equals to 5 so 5 can be written as 5.0 so 5.0 5.0 5.0 and that's all so the value is 0 0.980 later on we have to find out that is at omega equals to 10 so at omega equals to 10 we have to write 1 then 0 1 and then 0 then we have to write 1 then 0 then delete it that's all so the value is 0 0.99 and at omega equals to infinite its value will become 1 since the magnitude will starts from 0 and tends to 1 only let's move on to the calculation of phase angle so the phase angle can also be determined by the help of this scientific calculator so the phase angle can be calculated as 90 minus shift plus 10 inverse of 0, 0.0 now so the value is 90 here <coughs> at 0 0.2 it is 0 0.2 so the value is 78.69 here at 0 0.5 we got 63.43 here at 1 that can be written as 1.0 it is 45 degree at 5 it is 11.30 degree at 10 it is 5.71 degree and at omega equals to infinite its value will become 0 so this is all about the table formation by the help of scientific calculator so let's plot the polar plot so this is the polar plot this is 0 degree or 360 degree this is 90 degree minus 270 degree this is 180 degree or minus 180 degree and finally this is 270 degree or minus 
90 degree we can say since by the help of observation of this table we can say that the magnitude on the basis of uh, omega will start from 0 and and adds 1 so the value of magnitude starts from origin that is 0 and and adds 1 let us say that 1 is here so our polar plot will lie between this so either in the first quadrant or in the second quadrant so the quadrant can be decided on the basis of this angles since at omega equals to 0 angle is 90 degree and at omega equals to infinite our angle becomes 0 since 90 and 0 lies in the first quadrant only so we can say that our polar plot will lie in between first quadrant now to find the perfect polar plot we have to draw these all angles so the 0 degree angle is like this 5.71 degree angle will be somewhere like this this is 5.71 degree 11.30 degree will be like this forty five degree will be in the middle of this quadrant that is here and sixty three point four three will be on the upper edge of forty five degree that will be here and finally seventy eight point six nine degree will be here so this is all about the plotting of all the angles on the basis of the value of omega now let us plot all the magnitudes so on omega equals to 0 our magnitude is 0 only so this is 0 and omega equals to 0 also on omega equals to 0 0.2 its value will become 0 0.196 so this is 0 0.1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 so its value will become 0 0.196 so it will be somewhere like here at omega equals to 0 0.5 its value will become 0 0.47 so its value will be here because it is 0 0.4 after this at omega equals to 1 its value will be around 0 0.7 so here 4 5 6 and 7 so it is 0 0.7 at omega equals to 5 its value is 0 0.98 so here is a 0 0.9 and it will be somewhere here and at omega equals to 10 its value will approximately equals to 1 so by joining all these points we get our polar plot as in this direction and this is omega equals to infinite our polar plot emerges from omega equals to 0 and go in this direction and finally emerge at omega equals to infinite this is all about plotting of a polar plot thank you if you like my videos then please hit a like button and do subscribe my youtube channel